Hi everyone, this is Marcia from Our Vintage Store. In my last video, I mentioned that in addition to the bags of jewelry that we were getting while we were out of town, we were also getting some individual pieces from um, thrift stores and also we were being gifted some pieces and this today is what we're going to do. We're going to do one of the gifted pieces today. I'm going to give you a little bit of background on this as well. Back in August, my son and his wife had a beautiful baby girl. So I am a first time grandmother. And while we are here in town, I have been spending time with my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter. And this jar is from my daughter-in-law. She just wanted me to know how much she appreciated the time that I, you know, been spending with her and the little one. <laughs> totally unnecessary, but she just, um, this is her way of saying thank you. She knows I do these videos. She knows I love the jewelry. So she did this. She got this off of uh, Goodwill.com, she said. And uh, so just a little background. I, I wanted you to know that uh, I did not purchase this. This was a gift from my daughter-in-law um, just because. It's a thank you gift. So, so let's see what we have in it. damage any of the jewelry in it but okay well let me set this up a minute I want to get this tape off at least enough not to interfere with what's coming out well I hope everyone's having a good day so now you know why I haven't been putting out two videos a week. <laughs> I've been I've been otherwise busy. Baby is doing fine. Mother is well. All's well. We couldn't be happier. But uh, today's about the jewelry. Let's get into this. I'm going I'm to pull out some things and then I'm going to set this up because it is going to be in my way. Uh, let's get rid of the scissors. Well, this was right on top, so let's start with this green piece. Okay, so we've got a statement necklace. It's a newer piece, has a lobster claw clasp, just silver tone. Um, nice green though. And it has the rhinestone centers on the flowers. Everything appears to be there. So there you go. Nice statement necklace. Then we have a watch, and this is working. That is a working watch. Second hand is moving, and it is called Unlisted. A Kenneth Cole production, but nice big. I don't know if that's a man's watch or a woman's watch. But it's working. It's nice. So, And we have a pair of earrings that look like buttons. They are that, like that antique brass look. And they... Oh, Carol Ink. It says Carol Inc. and they were sold at Nordstrom's. So, Nordstrom right there. And a pair. We like the pairs. And here's another pair of Carol Inc. These are nice. They have the um, filigree back with the rose in the center.
sold at Nordstrom. And they are that antique brass, that bronze looking color as well. So I've got those. And we have another watch. And this one is I think Tommy Hilfiger. It is not working. I'm trying, I don't see. Hold on a second. Yes, Tommy Hilfiger. This looks more like a man's watch. This one is not working, as I said. But hopefully it's just as simple as putting in a battery or changing out the battery. Needs a little bit of cleaning, but still, nice watch. So I've got a couple of watches and a third watch here. And another Hilfiger. And this one is working. This one is a ladies watch. I like this style. I mean, I like this um, this shape. Nice. And I like that it works. A working watch is like a pair of earrings. <laughs> you can't do better than that. <laughs> and here's another necklace. This one is that, um, oh, kind of like an antique silver mesh style, with the knot as the uh, focal, and it has the lobster claw clasp. So there you go, a couple statement necklaces, and Here's another necklace. This one's kind of lightweight and it has the toggle closure, so a newer piece. But um, nice design. Could use a little cleaning, but all in all, not bad. So we got your different shapes. Nice in the gold tone. And also in a gold tone, we have a cuff bracelet with the rather large spikes. So, no marks. Like that. And here we have an earring. Uh, it's a clip, clip on. I'm not sure. This could be a handmade piece. It, it looks like it, it's that bead weaving, and it has like the leather backing, and you can see the stitching where it's um, the beads have been sewn to it. Nice center stone. Uh, like blue with uh, looks like gold specks but um, lightweight and these are plastic I'm not sure about the the seed beads the seed beads are probably glass but the other beads are plastic but interesting piece got one of those Let's put this put this here um, make that too right here with the other stuff we got a match we got the other one so good. Got a pair of those. And, oh, this is nice. Another clip earring. Clip on. This with an oval shape with the rhinestones. The, this, I don't know how it's looking on camera, but this looks, the green is like an olive green. And then we have the clear rhinestones as well. So, uh, one of those. And here we have, this is very lightweight. Um, pierced earring, it's got the post back. And 
um, gold tone metal with the um, probably plastic rose on the heart. So one of those. And here we have a screw back earring. And there is some writing, There's some writing on the back of the earring. And it says 1 slash 20 10K. Looks like there's either design or writing around this part as well, but it's too small for me to make it out with just a, a magnifying glass. I'd need a jeweler's loop. But this one does say 1 20 10K. So we got a little gold fill, not bad, just one of those. Well, we have, where'd it go? Okay, we have a match to the green clip. And these are nice. No name on it, I'm surprised, but very nice. So, and a pair. pair to this one. This looks like it's one of the um, the petals is broken off. But that goes. And we have a pink crystal drop earring. This one looks like I don't know if you can tell. This looks like the, the ear wire is artisan made. It's handmade piece. I don't see any stamps on it. But this does look like silver to me. So this may be, if it's handmade, could be a silver wire. It is not magnetic. So um, I can put this in the pile of things to be tested, which is growing. <laughs> I have no time to do any of this stuff. Um, but pretty earring. I like it. And um, if I keep it, I'm not going to worry whether it is or isn't 925. I still like it. But I think it is. So uh, here is another. It's a pearl drop earring with a center stone. I think it's plastic. Kind of lightweight. Hmm. Well, the earring part doesn't appear to be magnetic, but this bottom section is, so it's not going to be anything special if they mix metals like that. So, anyway, but an interesting piece. One of those so far. And here we have another crystal drop earring in the black and clear. And this, this has that flattened piece that normally has the stamp on it. And I think I do see something. So let me check that. Uh, yes, indeed. It says 925. I don't know if that's going to be, I'm getting this in frame and close enough, but it does, it is stamped 925. And it has the look of 925. And it is not magnetic. So I think we found silver. Nice. Only one so far. Here's another. Oh, this is uh, gold tone. Gold tone. Silver tone. Um, little chandelier style earring. Got one of those. And it looks like we have a pair. This is slightly magnetic and I didn't expect it to be real gold, but it is the gold tone. And it's a pair. Always love the pairs. Um, and it is uh, the poinsettia flower. And Christmas is coming up. Let me tell you, that's going to be here before you know it. So these will be nice for those 
occasions where we have parties and stuff to go to with uh, rhinestones and everything appears to be there so nice like those um, here is a single earring looks like an artisan piece handmade with I think that's just a little plastic bead so one of those let's get some more well I see some matches this is good there's a match to that earring uh, oh this is pretty Oh, I don't know if it's a CZ. Could be a natural stone. Okay, well, I know you're not going to be able to see this, but this is stamped 925. So more silver, but only one. Okay, so we have a pair. Of these silver earrings the black and the crystal the clear crystals so those are nice and a pair and silver so win-win <laughs> and a match to the pink crystal drop earrings that I believe are Sterling silver, but are not marked, but pretty. I like these. I like the pink. And here we have a gunmetal chain with a ball. One of those. Oh, and we have, well, let's see. Oh, well, I think I just put that on backwards, but anyway, a um, little little bent up but still a match to these I think artisan handmade earrings that let's see that are not magnetic so these could also be silver or silver plated wire oh we have a ring it is adjustable Hmm. Okay, let's put it on this way. It looks like a teardrop open, and then this has the stone. Depends on how you look at this stone. It takes on either a brown or like a deep olive green color. So, but a ring. Oh, a big old earring. Bent a little bit there, but huh. I don't know what I, it, it sounds like t like metal I don't know if anyway but um, could just be picking up what's on the back this is the um, the ball edge around the big green this is almost like a teal so it's kind of it's not a it's like a blue green maybe turquoise one of those Oh, two of those. Need to get some backings for it, for them. But got a pair. And here we have some chandelier earrings. Fish hook. These look like a handmade wire as well. Anyway. May or may not be. Um, it's got the um, co the components have the faceted blue centers, but not bad. And a pair. We have a pair of them. Whoops. 
can't get it to leg. So there you go. Got a pair. Pretty blue. Light, light blue. Okay. Got a pair of something here. Okay, these are not laying right. There we go. There we go. We have some chandelier style. These are made just like the other ones, so these might also be a handmade piece. But I like these discs. They remind me of the vinyl records. Yeah, a lot of the young kids don't know what that is. <laughs> but I still have a lot of my vinyls. I haven't played them in years, but still have them. But um, got a pair of these. Nice and Boy, they're coming out in pairs. We like this. Pair of, now these are lightweight, but they're pierced with the post back. This looks like rope on a square, and the square is on a circle. So we got our shapes going on there. <laughs> so we got those. Well, 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 look what we have. Oh, look. Sorry about that noise. Look, we have a set. We got the post style pierced earrings. That little door knocker style. And it matches the necklace. So we have a set. Necklace and earrings. in the gold tone. Well, that's nice. Here we have another chandelier style. And this, is, I think it's just plastic, the center stone, but it's it's a faceted, like gray marbled stone. And rhinestones appear to be intact. So, got one of those. And we have, this looks like antique brass as well. It's that brownish, maybe bronze color. Um, these look Victorian in style to me. Um, everything is there, so that's good. So one of those. And we have a pair of like the statement. These remind me of the pieces that go on the statement necklaces. So we have statement earrings in the gold tone. Rhinestones are all there, looks like. And the stone, center stone is like a purplish. Yeah, they're purple. So. I don't know if it's going to pick up on the video, but my cat is sleeping nearby and she's snoring. <laughs> so, if you hear it, yes, it's my cat. <laughs> um, who is that? Vicky. Vicky, yes. She's the one that asked, do I hear a cat purring? <laughs> yes, you do, Vicky. <laughs> she's there. She's always close by. Okay, well here we have another necklace. This one in that gunmetal, the chains, or the gunmetal with the, um, these are the curb link uh, chain in the, um, the bright silver color. And these have the, or mostly the, the look of the marcasite or the dark rhinestones, not necessarily a Marcus site, but that's what it reminds me of. And um, it is a lobster paw clasp, and it has a hang tag. And the hang tag says Express. Very small. Choker. So, 
normally I don't like extenders on these type necklaces, but um, I think you almost need it on this one because this is very small, but not bad. So we got that. And got a match to that pearl drop earring. These center stones are very interesting. It's, um, it reminds me of opal, which I'm sure it is not a genuine opal, but it has that, um, that color variation like an opal would have. Got those. And it looks like we have a necklace. that has come loose. Looks like it was probably attached to this ring here. Should be an easy enough fix to get that back on and then we will have a double chain necklace. Oh well. With the um, green beads and these are just um plastic beads but anyway got that let's get some more out here i'm going to try to do this all in one video it'll probably be over 30 minutes but anyway so the jar is empty i'm going to move it to the side um, try to get through this stuff pretty quickly if we can. Don't want this to run too long. Leather cuff with the gold tone embellishment. They look like stirrups. So maybe good for the horse person. Okay, got that. And another. Hmm. This is springy, but it is not hinged. And I don't see any markings, but uh, I see a lot of the dark rhinestones missing. Okay. And I see a couple of them there. So if we have all of them, all of them in the bottom, maybe I'll um, glue them back in. Put that. Okay. We have a match to the gray earring oh and it looks like it's missing a rhinestone on that one oh too bad anyway the uh, gold tone with the pearl and the looks like a champagne color golden color crystal bead got another bracelet now this one feels very cold to the touch so, these are faceted beads, but they may be, they may be amethyst and maybe rose quartz. The coloring is there. I won't, I won't swear to it, but that might be natural stone. Not this, but just these beads. And here, another stretch bracelet in that shell, in the, um, pink purplish shade or these are offset with the way they go up and down in design so um nice different oh boy wow we have a hair clip with rhinestones but it has the um, yellow rhinestones with the AB as well. But they have them on the sides as well. Got that. And we have a little pendant. I do not believe it is gold. So it will be a gold tone with the um, rhinestones. 
And we have a shell necklace. And these are a little bit of wear on them, but they are painted black with the uh, barrel clasp. And here we have, I think these are metal. So it's like that um, ball chain style necklace. Um, got the C ring class there and purple. And here we have what looks like a interchangeable watch bezel. I don't see another watch in here, so I don't know. Don't know which watch it goes to, but this one is red. So, anyway, got that. Oh, yeah, I do see. We have several of those little rhinestones, so with any luck, we might have them all, and I'll put them back in the bracelet. Here we have a lightweight metal and plastic necklace. Interesting color combination. And here we have a cup chain rhinestone bracelet. I do not see any markings on this connector. So I'm going to, I think, safely say it is a gold tone, but cute. And everything appears to be there, so that's always good. And here we have a necklace. Here we have a piece that looks like a piece that was on that, uh, that rose, the flower that was on that earring. So got that. And here, these are very lightweight. So my guess is these are plastic acrylic beads, but in that Y style. Pretty fall colors, though. Um, well, here we have a big brass or bronze cross. It's not magnetic, so. One of those. This is chunky. These are pretty beads. Very nice. It's not just a solid. It looks like it's swirling and stuff going on on the inside. Yeah, these are plastic, but nice color. Very nice. Oh, and these are pretty. Oh my. It's like that sapphire blue. Needs restringing. We have the spacer beads with the rhinestones, so nice. Here we have a pendant. And this does look like that um, bronze color. Well, it is not magnetic, <laughs> but interesting center stone. Green with the swirls. A couple pendants there. Oh, we have another watch puzzle in a black. Okay. And here we have, looks like a, an ornament and this has a snake. This looks like um, probably a Chinese piece. Maybe the snake is for the Chinese zodiac, indicating year of the snake. So, and this is glass. These beads are feel like they're plastic, but this the snake piece feels like it's glass. So. There you go, for someone that was born in the year of the snake. 
And another stretch bracelet. These are um, these are uh, plastic beads, but has a cross with um, different colored rhinestones. Well, this is pretty. Oh, this is nice. This is a, a double chain bracelet. A newer piece. It has the lobster claw clasp in a gold tone. I'm I'm assuming it is. The chain is not magnetic, but the um, the findings are. The but this has the um, herringbone. One of the chains is herringbone, and this is a Figaro. So together, it's very cute. But that's nice. Very pretty. Very delicate. Um, oh, well, we have one more match in the earrings that one there so that's nice so we do have a few that don't have matches but the rest of these pieces we have three bracelets to go and then it's done we have this is nice this is a silver tone it has a little heart tag but nothing on it so don't see any markings, but silver tone butterfly with the um, different color shell, the, uh, like the abalone. That's pretty. And if any of you have watched enough of my videos, you know I like the butterflies. <laughs> so that's pretty. And this looks like pewter. With the toggle, toggle clasp, it says faith, hope, love. Faith, hope, love. So nice. And the last piece. This is a twisted bangle in an oval shape. It is not magnetic, and I do see it's probably a, a plate over copper because I see the the copper looks like it's showing through and this has it has writing all the way around um, okay Lord make me an instrument of thy peace where there is hatred let me sow love where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. So there you go. It's a nice way to end. My thanks to everyone that... Um, is watching these videos and to those that have subscribed um, I don't know what has happened um, this last week or so um, the number of views and the number of subscriptions uh, they're just skyrocketing so um, I may be hitting a thousand before you know it this is this is wonderful and I thank you all for um, contributing to that amazing just amazing you know everybody is so helpful um i really do appreciate that so anyway we're going to end it on this guys um i'll be back with more jewelry more um thrifting hauls my thanks to everyone and especially my lovely daughter-in-law for for this jar till the next video bye bye